is now under arrest. And Karen Bass said she would win, and now she sets to become LA's next mayor. She's set to speak in just a few moments. And Red Cup Rebellion, why Starbucks workers are walking off the job on one of their biggest days of the year. Hi, I'm Manny Rivera, and I'm a Kaiser Permanente Medicare Specialist here in California. My mission is to make sure you get high quality, affordable Medicare health coverage. That's why Kaiser Permanente Medicare health plans have zero monthly premium, no cost preferred generic drugs, and zero dollar dental and fitness benefits. And you also get the convenience of hospital care, medical services, and prescription drug coverage all in one plan. Plus, your choice of hundreds of available Kaiser Permanente doctors, including specialists. I'm also proud to tell you that here in California, Kaiser Permanente's Medicare Health Plan has been rated five out of five stars for the 12th year in a row. That's Medicare's highest possible rating. To get your free Kaiser Permanente Guide to Medicare, call 1-877-447-7199 or go to kp.org slash local now. Breaking news right now. On CBS 2 News at 11 a.m. Welcome to CBS 2 News at 11 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Chris Holmstrom. That breaking news right now, the driver in that horrific wrong way crash that left 25 law enforcement recruits injured is now under arrest. Let's get right to CBS 2's Cara Fincham live at the Training Academy in Whittier with the latest details. Good morning, Cara. Good morning, Chris. We have has been arrested and is being charged with attempted murder on peace officers with more charges pending. We have a photo to show you of the man arrested, 22-year-old Nicholas Joseph Gutierrez. At this time, the Sheriff's Department says no bail has been posted for him. They are working with the DA's office on possible filing considerations. Last night, about a dozen L.A. County Sheriff deputies descended on a home in Diamond Bar linked to him with guns drawn. They served a search warrant there. Multiple witnesses said they saw Gutierrez talking with police right afterwards with scratches on his forehead. The sheriff initially said he passed a breathalyzer and this seemed to be a horrific accident. But the CHP added they would fully investigate whether drugs were involved or this could have been intentional. And the LA Times reported a law enforcement source told them marijuana was found in his car. No further information from investigators about their discoveries. Now, one of his neighbors told us yesterday they didn't believe Believe he would hurt anyone intentionally, that he had said he was sleepy to police. We also have home security video we want to show you that captured what happened. This shows the huge group of law enforcement recruits running right around 6.30 yesterday morning. Moments later, without warning, the SUV swerves, goes the wrong way, and we do pause the video right before the driver plows into the crowd. Some of the recruits, firefighters from a nearby station, others rushed to help those most seriously hurt. We did also speak with neighbors out here today who are still in shock at everything that happened. I've lived here for years, seeing these guys, uh, they run. Uh, it's part of the Sheriff's Academy, and some guy ran him over in his car, uh, and I couldn't believe that. When I went close to them, I was crying because I saw somebody scattered in all the place, all the place, you know? And everybody shouting until the police came and ambulance came. And she did shoot that video as the first responders came out here and she came down to see what was going on. So back to you, but again, an arrest now made. All right, Cara, thank you so much. Well, CBS News projects the Republican Party has secured the 218 seats needed to win the majority in the House. Now leaders in both parties are preparing for what's ahead next year when the next session begins. So House GOP leader Kevin McCarthy, he's campaigning to be the next Speaker of the House, while Democrats will keep a majority in the Senate, creating a divided Congress. House Republicans are already announcing plans to investigate the Biden administration and members of the Biden family. The Biden administration has answered none of our requests for information. Woman-centered and woman-led nonprofit here on this gorgeous, All right, let's go ahead and get a live look right now. This is the podium where Mayor-elect Karen Bass.